Let x be an n-dimensional complex manifold. We want to use tools from differential geometry to study x. So we want to view x as a differentiable manifold of dimension 2n. Using this viewpoint, we're going to define the tangent and cotangent bundles on x and then find local coordinates, local basis for them. As a smooth manifold, x must have a tangent bundle and a cotangent bundle. Now we define the tangent and cotangent bundle of x to be the complexification of these tangent and cotangent bundle. Let's find some local basis for them. Let's say that at a point P, we have local coordinates Z1, Zn, where the real component of Zj is Xj, and then we have the imaginary component Yj. Then X1, Xn, Y1, Yn gives real local coordinates for P when we view X as a smooth manifold. So then the real cotangent space at P has this basis. Then the complex cotangent space at P has this basis, dzj, dzj bar. Similarly, on the tangent space at P, we have this basis which is dual to this basis on the cotangent space. From these, we also want to define this partial with respect to zj and, and uh, zj bar in such a way that these are also dual to this basis. However, be very careful here because you might be tempted to mechanically copy this definition and define these in the following way. If you define them that way, then these are actually not going to be dual. So this is not a good definition, though they do indeed form a basis of this tangent space. But we actually want a dual basis. So let's work it out. Okay, so let's assume that this partial with respect to zj can be written as this linear combination. In terms of partial xj and partial yj, we need to find this alpha and beta. We will do so by applying this dzj on it. Alright, so let's do this computation. This is dzj and this is the partial. We want to find this alpha and beta such that this is equal to 1. Now let's look. So this term here is going to be alpha. And this term here is going to be minus beta. And the cross terms are all going to be 0. Like this dyj of partial xj is 0 and dxj of partial yj is 0. So then the only condition is that alpha minus beta is equal to 1. And we can easily see that if that is satisfied, then this pairing also will give 1. Since scaling a basis by a non-zero element still gives a basis, which is like alpha to be 1 half and let beta be minus 1 half. Thus we get the following basis of the complex tangent space that is dual to this basis of the complex cotangent space.